Before we get to fishing in Bermuda, I want to say thank you for Ethos for sponsoring today's video. Ethos can help find the right life insurance policy for you. What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here. And as you can see, it's not necessarily the morning right now. We're actually gonna go get dinner. Um, so we're gonna get dinner at the end of this video, but I wanna start it off with, we're going fishing here in Bermuda with Hakuna Matata Charters with Captain Scott and his dad, Mike. I'm here with my buddy, Jason, and my girlfriend, Ashley, who unfortunately couldn't make this fishing trip today because the forecast called for insanely rough seas rainy weather and she gets super seasick so she did stay back on this trip but needless to say we did get rained on a squall pushed through the waves were rough but we caught a lot of fish the day did end with some sunshine and an epic tuna you guys watch this video hope you enjoy and then we'll see you at dinner Pretty calm seas, and then we just got that squall. Yeah, all right though. Don't worry, boss. It's just a little squall. <laughs> just a little come squall. Away fast. This is our prime bait right here. We got sand mixed with little bait fish, and what we do is we make these little bait balls around a chunk of bonita, or as they would call mackerel. And just like we're in a yellowtail snapper fish in the keys, you make that that tumble, and when you drop it down with the sand, it slowly releases. If it hits the bottom, it'll break, or it'll break in the water, attract a bunch of fish, and then hopefully it'll catch something. You sure don't you stop the door? Like a real tuna? Oh, baby tuna. Well, bonita, bonita or tuna, technically. 
A tuna tuna. A tuna tuna. There we go. Nice black fish. Tuna tuna. Heck yeah. You see that hook set? Oh my like goodness. It. That's a good one. That's like the same hook set with your bonita. Yeah. Sweet. I'm gonna drop the jig and see if I can't catch one. Hold up, wait a minute. Yeah. You want me to move the camera around or you want to leave it where it is? You can take off the one. Okay. If not yellowfin. This is called shark bait. This is my shark bait. That's called twenty dollars for some Filipino. Seriously? Yeah. For real? Could be another bonita or a nice tuna we don't know yet <laughs> mr mike's been putting uh, some sand balls down as you can see the reel and rod are covered in sand if we did that back in florida man there'd be a lot of captains freaking out but his reels are still working pretty good so i must not be doing that much harm come on the little guy so these bonita or as you can say mackerel they actually sell these fish at the fish market that they have here. I believe, what is it, once a week you guys sell fish? Every Friday? So every Friday they sell fish at their fish market uh, down on the road. Unfortunately, when I was here, it was raining, so it was, wasn't as busy, busy as it usually is. But that's how they make their living. Over here in Bermuda, they do commercial charter or they do commercial fishing, and on top of that, charters as well. And on top of that, I do only pads. <laughs> Skitchy nine, check me out. <laughs> Skitchy nine, bleep bleep. We can't share the OF information on the YouTube, but we got more bait, and more fish to sell. Oh my God! Keep it up for a second, this. Oh! Damn, you got the Mexican knife fight. Yeah, that's rough. <laughs> that looks like a wild That's a hoo hoo. Let me see this battle spar. Just reeled in this bonita. We're thinking that's a wahoo, because a barracuda would just be nice and scratched up, but those are some clean wahoo cuts right there. Scott's over here trying to tangle me in this leader. I want to let you guys know that I found this company called Ethos. It makes buying life insurance super easy. Now, as you guys know, I just purchased my home and I still have a mortgage to pay. I would never want my family or my future children to ever be in a rut if something were to happen to me. As you guys know, I travel the world doing some pretty intense things. The beneficiary can spend the policy payout on anything they want to. Each year you wait, life insurance rates increase by 8 to 10%. And one of the top reasons people don't get life insurance is because they think it's too expensive. 
but you could get it for as little as $10 a month. Ethos is able to get people coverage within minutes instead of weeks. You just answer a few health questions online and get a quote in seconds. And in most cases, get coverage within the same day. It's easy and it's 100% online. No medical exams required. If you are interested in learning more about Ethos or you would like to get a free quote today, you can go in the link in the description below this video or click the link right here. Now we can get back to fishing in the Bermuda Triangle for some tuna. I ain't gonna lie. I literally just catch an Amico Jack. Scott over here is as, is as quiet as can be. This one? To the right of him? Oh god, your left and right's mixed up. Anyway, Scott's over here, quiet as a mouse. He's got a fighting belt on and he's hooked up to something pretty decent. You guys catch much sharks out here? Do you guys catch much sharks out here? Sometimes. We're not allowed to catch them. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, the grind, the slow grind. Yeah, that's a decent fish, whatever it is. Joke's on us, massive amberjack. Actually, a 100 pound amberjack would be great for them. Yeah. Amberjack, people prefer amberjack here over the tuna. That's, that's crazy. That is true, Jason is correct on that. We got Mike hooked up too over here. Come yeah, on. Yeah. Dang. So this is almost kind of like a commercial fishing day. We got a bunch of different types of fish in the box. As you guys can see here. Everything's going in the ice box. We got to make up from yesterday. Yesterday, the weather is off, the fishing was off. So we're trying to catch double the amount today to make up for yesterday. Triple, triple, triple. Triple, oh, the cap just said we, had a, we have to catch triple the amount. Look at this little guy just chilling on the surface right here. He's so cute. Catch him <laughs> I'll just feed him for you guys. <laughs> Stop. That's our KFC. That's <laughs> Oh, look at him, he's so... Come here, here you go. Like, wait, where, where'd it go? Grab him, grab him. Oh, I'm... Oh. I'm very curious to see what this is. Bermuda's known for their peaceful birds. Yeah. Oh, you got him! Hold on. Come hey, here. This is the nicest bird ever. Oh my gosh, he's so cool! Those are our birds. What are these? Wait, here. They come here for like. Ah, we bit me! Ah. You notice he didn't bite me at all, right? Listen, birds are notorious for biting me. Look how cool he is! Hi. Put him, put him in the cockpit. No. Oh. What do you mean? Put him on the ground, you won't be able to fly. Like put him here? Put him right ground. Right here? Put him there. They don't fly? He won't be able to fly. They do. Woo! Mmm, boom. Lost that fish. Ready? Yeah. There we go. Hey! We are out of you. Oh, 
yellow Heck yeah, oh my gosh. You guys, we've been out here for a few hours. The weather's been not in our best favor, but it's actually cleared up. It's pretty nice out. It's not as rough as yesterday. And we just got the first yellow fin in the boat right now. He's a good one too. Oh my goodness. Pressure's off. We got a black fin, we got a yellow fin, we got a bunch of mismatched fish. We're doing good, so we're gonna keep at it. See if we can't catch some more. Hand the camera up that way just a little bit. Jason and Mike are reeling in the other lines just in case this tuna wants to book it to the right. We don't want to get anything tangled to risk losing this fish. Good job. Redemption, redemption. Nice. That's a nice big old butterball right there. All right. They're getting bigger and bigger. This is a solid, let's see. 48, 53 pound fish, I think. 40? What? 44 pounds. 44? 54. All right, I'm guessing 48. We're gonna weigh this fish when we get back. Seems so much heavier than a 40 pound wall hoop. All right, that's a good old box of fish right there. Woohoo! Let's probably catch some of the filming you. What are those called? Robins. Robins. So, right here, these are robins. You guys use those for yellowfin? We use anything you can eat. eat. Yellowfin, blackfin, barcoos, rockfish, snapper. Very easy. So, right now, we have these little chummies and they're throwing them out. Look at them all in the water right there. And we're hand lining them up for bait. Now, yesterday we were trying to catch these fish. However, the current was just all out of whack and it was running this way and we couldn't get them. But right now we're set up pretty good. <laughs> all right, let's see, let's watch them race up again. That's hilarious. Oh, there they are. You see all those little torpedoes swarming in the water? So back in Florida, we call those fish little torpedoes because they dart through the water just like a torpedo. What you got on? Ah, uh, just missed one. Ah. Oh. Dang. Well, the boys are gonna catch the bait and I'm gonna go ahead and prep a little bit of ceviche with a rainbow runner that we caught earlier. Um, we got some mango, some avocado, lemon, lime, onion, cucumber, tomatoes, and orange. You guys, ah, this boat has been rocking like crazy. I'm in the middle of making some ceviche with rainbow runner. Check out this monstrosity of a rainbow runner that's not just caught. That's a decent one. for you guys. <laughs> Big one. 
biggest fish I've caught this trip. It either can be a tuna or a big old amberjack. It's a video. What you got, Kayla? I think a trigger fish. World record trigger you a, fish? You got a robin? You walk, you walk, 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 walk. Walk in one at the same time. Thanks, Scotty. <laughs> You guys just missed it. I just had to tell everyone that Scott was my husband because that man down there was trying to steal me. <laughs> hey, you. Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh, I gotta film something real quick. I'm famous. Hold on, you're famous? <laughs> yes. What you famous for? I'm, I'm a happy dad. You're happy dad? Yes. Happy dad? Yes. <laughs> What's your name? Happy dad. Happy you dad. Don't make me put me back. I'm Kelly. Nice to meet you. You too. You're my beautiful woman. Thank you very much. You get mad? Uh, am I married? Are you married? I am. He's up there. Oh, congratulations. Thank you How very many much. Got? Not none yet. <laughs> you're, you're rocking on. <laughs> I got to finish a video, though. Thank you. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. All right, you guys, so we are ending this video. It's been an epic time here in Bermuda with Hakuna Matata Charters with my friend Jason and Ashley. Unfortunately, Ashley couldn't fish with us today because she does get a little bit seasick and the weather was going to be insanely rough and rainy. As you guys see in the beginning of the video, um, it was pouring down rain, it was wet, um, so it wasn't pretty. But the sun did happen to come out, so thankfully we got some good weather, a nice little tan, and we caught lots of fish. The ending of this video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, we didn't clean the fish and we're not cooking the fish, but we did give all the fish to Scott and his dad Mike to sell because they are commercial fishermen. That's how they make their money. But tonight we are at a restaurant called The Terrace here in Bermuda and they actually sell fish to this restaurant. So we're going to order some tuna poke bowls, which I'm super excited to eat some tuna poke bowls because tuna has been on my mind for like a week being here in Bermuda. And we finally got into some tuna as you guys can see. So we're going to relax, sit down. It's our last night here in Bermuda. We're going to enjoy a beautiful espresso martini because you guys know I love my coffee. We're going to enjoy some tuna and this video is coming to an end you guys thank you for watching be sure to subscribe to the channel check out hakuna matata charters here in bermuda i'll put all the information you need in the link below this video as well as their social media but right now i'm gonna get back upstairs to the restaurant everyone's sitting up there uh, i had to come down here because the music was playing up there and y'all already know copyright music with youtube so thank you guys leave a positive comment below like this video and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one see ya